this one, she's still doing the work for a day, but she's not going to get points for it unless she goes to school on Monday. Yeah. To be honest, now that I'm thinking about it, um, that's when prom is anyway. Maybe I will let my kids go to prom before I send them away afterwards. But someone wasn't... No, I don't know. I'm not even sure anymore. I'm confused. I have too many children. I kind of want to just put them in a basket like kittens and drop them in the river right now. I know that's horrible. I know it's horrible. But you know what, though? That's life when you have that many kids. You think about murdering a couple just to make things easier on yourself. No, no other mother has ever thought that? That's just me? And I'm not even a mother? Okay. <laughs> he decided to start cooking. Listen. Are you, have you done your schoolwork? Okay, he's done his schoolwork. Why are you taking out food? You do not eat, bitch. Look at you. You clearly do not eat. He eating ice cream. This is why all my kids are chubby. Work out. Go work out. No, no. Stop. You know, stop making that. I'll take the hit for that food Um, not getting eaten. We got a fridge full of food. You sitting up here doing some fuck shit. Stop that. You too, you another one who should be working out since you ain't got no grades to worry about. I'm just making sure she's actually doing some schoolwork. She got she still has a B. He, dang it, he went he gotta go to the bathroom. That's not his fault. Um hey, Boney Bonehilda, do you cook? I don't think Bonehilda cook. Charles awake. She needs to finish that food then. I was really hoping to get y'all out of here so that Charlotte could give birth in peace. But I don't think Charlotte has even popped yet. Um, so I don't think she'll have that baby. No, she'll probably have that baby Sunday. I gotta get rid of some of these kids then. You know what? Which ones are the H ones? Because I'll move them out. Because they're ready. All the H's are ready. All the H's are ready. So you know what? Um, let's grow up the H's. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get another table. I would like to get them a brand new house. Then again, I probably just need to expand this one. But I don't want to expand it because I want to save the money. Y'all can stop working out. You're gonna have cake, what you always wanted. Cake. You know you love it. Oh, thank you, Bone Hill, that she fixing it. Charlotte, what's going on with you? Keep cooking, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte want to microwave something? Oh, she want to microwave the hot dogs. Well, don't worry about the birthdays. You have pl you've seen plenty of birthdays. You have tons of kids. Make them hot dogs. Don't let them go to waste. I'll watch. I'm their real mother anyway. I'm the one keeping them alive. Um, Happy birthday, babies. There we go. Blow out your candles. That's right, honey. That's right. You too. Blow out your candle, baby. That's right, yeah. Yes. Happy birthday, honeys. Can we sell them now? Yep. Yep. Happy birthday. Boop boop. <laughs> Yay. Happy birthday. He yawning. He's like, I'm bored. <laughs> yeah, come on. Why? Why her hair had to look like that when she grew up? Oh, well. I know she's sad now because she couldn't go to prom, but whatever. I'm just, yeah. Damn it. Her body look good, though. Look at that. She thick in all the right places now. All right, y'all turn. Y'all turn. Oh, we got to do this. Um, Sure. Be surrounded by family. Be just like your mama has. Lots of kids. She's tall. Wait a minute. Why is she so tall? I swear, she's taller than Charlotte. Wait, do I have the, um, modification, body modification scale stuff? I might have that. Maybe that's why her legs are so long. I don't think I do, though. But she looks super tall for some reason. Maybe it's because her shorts are too short that makes her look that tall. Her legs are going on forever. That's my point. Um, she even got heels on. Let's see how the brother grew up. Cat person. 
Nah, they're about the same height. I guess teens and young adults really are totally different heights. Like, I know they're a little bit different. I didn't know they were that different. Monster maker, create three monsters. Yeah, let's give my son something challenging to do. <laughs> Make monsters. Come on, let's see how he grow up. Come on, baby. Don't block my view of my baby growing up now. Let's see how he do this. Want me whip? Want me nay nay? Let's see how he grow up. Dang, the bags under his eye got even bigger. Unlucky? No, I don't want him to be unlucky. That guy unlucky is not actually a horrible trait. It stops you from dying in weird ways. He looks super tall, too. Why do my children look like Jolly Green Giants, though? They tall. Oh, hell no, hell no. He looked taller than him. Something's going on now. That's his twin, and he looks taller than him. That's a problem. Something's going on. Something's weird. Something is up with the water in this town. My children didn't come out fairies or witches or anything. They came out giants. That's what happened. My kids are too damn tall. Kids too tall, the rent's too high. That's all it is. Um, people also said give the adults makeovers. Um, no. <laughs> um, cause I mean, once they turn to adults from young adults, they're gonna change their look anyway. I'm not gonna keep bringing them over. Be like, mama needs to change your look. No, they grown. They're gonna figure out things for themselves. They have to. Um. First thing they need to figure out is where they're going to live. You know, at first I got to put down a house for them. Let me go into edit town and put down a house for them. Okay, so let's get the pre-made house ready. And I put down a couple of these lots. Where, where do their sibling live? Sibling live over here. Oh, that's not the right way. Turn it this way. Why are they slow panning us back into the house? Um, let's call real estate and move within the neighborhood. Don't, don't be complaining about the tie. Oh, this is the blonde one running away from Bone Hilda again. Like, can you stop? Bone Hilda is fam now. You gotta get over this obsession with being scared of Bone Hilda. Uh, yes. We're not kicking them out. We're actually buying them a house. Here's the house. Let's get in there. Bye, children. Oh, mama love you so much. Get out. <laughs> I need space. But it's okay, though, because all six to eight of the kids I'm trying to get out right now don't all need to be in the same house anyway, you know? Who keeps taking out food and not even cooking it? No one's even that hungry. You're wasting the food. Waste. Waste. Where did she go? She's still running away from Bone Hilda. It is not that serious. Come on now. Stop Stop with this fuck shit. You know what? You being stupid. If you're afraid of Bone Hilda and you gotta go to bed so badly, uh, sleep in the tree house. In fact, you can't even sleep there. Um, You're gonna have to get over it. Come inside the house. Just run into the house. Run into it. Run right past Bone Hilda. Pretend like you don't see her. See? No, stop it. <sighs> My child won't come into the house because Bone Hilda here. This is just bullshit. Um. Well, I guess. Wait, where did Bone Hilda go? Did she go away? I don't see her. So then it should be safe for my daughter to get her ass in bed then. When she wake up, she can eat. Bone Hilda ran away. What's wrong with Bone Hilda? Where is Bone Hilda going? Was Bone Hilda afraid of my daughter? Bone Hilda's still running away. Oh no. Uh-uh. Bone Hilda playing hopscotch? Oh. Oh. Oh damn, is she good at it? Dang, I, I can't even watch her because she's making me angry. I'm telling you, I discovered this in Baby Mama. Um, Bone Hilda's be having secret lives and they be happy as hell. Okay? Bone Hilda is not the indentured servant you think she is. She having a damn good time. Uh, all those tired. Go to hell to bed. Don't ask for bedtime stories, though, because you'll probably get popped in the mouth. 
I'm hoping to get rid of you soon, so I'm not even gonna bother giving you a makeover. Just all the ones of you who's tired, go to bed, please. All my kids tired, go to bed. Don't worry about the food. For some reason, the food's broken or the Michael. The microwave is broken. Something's broken that they can't microwave these sad-ass hot dogs. I'm just going to throw them out. Go to bed. Why would the hell won't you go to bed? Just go to bed. <sighs> my children. Seriously. My children. I can't. Put all this food away, too. So everyone rest in. Bone Hilda, the only one who's not actually asleep. Oh, and now she pops. Okay, that's that's okay. That's good, though. That's good that she popped. It's about time she popped. Um, Hopefully, we'll get some more kids out the house at some point. And then we, we can, uh, oh, she, I thought she was about to go throw up. Wait a minute, someone died? Found Sims inherited. Okay. Sam got some money. How, why did Sam get money? Sam friend with him? Why is Sam friends with that old ass man? That's not your daddy. Oh well, whatever it is. I'm, I'm glad my son inherited some stuff. That's nice for him. I was, um, we had inherited some stuff. Sam always inherits stuff. Sam, people love Sam. That's my baby, that's why. Um, I'm just gonna put this up real quick. In fact, why do we keep getting this? I'm not even gonna put it up. I'm gonna leave it there. Um... I think in the morning, what I'll focus on doing, of course, is trying to get their grades up to an A. This one, technically, she could move out. But she's a part of the ease, and now I don't feel too much pressure to make them, like, move on without the other ones. So I'll probably let her, like, age on up with her brothers and whatnot. Uh, these ones, they have opportunities to complete, which should fix up their grade. But I don't know. I still feel like as soon as I can wake them up, I'm going to just make them, you know, try and get their grades up. I'm not worried about prom. I'm worried about having babies and having room for the babies. So that's what I care about. And I also care about putting Bone Hilda back in her box because she's having too much damn fun. Charlotte, stop eating for five seconds. You're not even hungry, Charlotte. You're just greedy because you're pregnant. Make Bone Hilda go away. Bone Hilda, you heard her. She said, away with you, bony bitch. Away with you. Get into your closet, Bone Hilda. Get in there. Yeah. Having fun. Playing hopscotch. My kids don't even get a chance to play hopscotch. They ain't got time for hopscotch. And she playing hopscotch. What's wrong with you? Charlotte need to go on back to bed anyway. Birthing these babies. Baking buns in your oven take energy out of you. She need her rest. Besides, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. What's she up for? Everyone should just be in bed. Okay, guys. So we are back and I took a break. And now I'm going to check the mailbox immediately. Because, like, I remember it's been a while since I checked it, actually. So we're going we're gonna to go check this mail. Sorry. You have to wake up now, Charlotte. There could be money in there, and you have three kids who will hopefully be out of the house very, very soon. You know, so we need the money for, you know, them to be able to buy a house. And I made the decision that I don't care whether or not the kids get to go to prom or not. Oh, see, this one's ready to grow, to grow up and move out. So we need to do that. And look at that, all of the donations and the gifts and all the helpful things that we love. Thank you all so much. I'm going to go through these real quick. And then we're going to jump back into the family. Okay, so I went through everything, guys. So let's see. 200 in cash. And now we're going to look in our inventory. And so much stuff. So let's sell it. That's enough for two houses. So let's see. This one... Is ready to go, so I'm not gonna worry about her too much. This one has a B, so he needs to get up. Wake up, <laughs> wake up, get out. She has a B also, so let's work on her. 
Him, he has a B also. Yeah, because like I said, um, I'm not really worried about prom because I realize, like, prom isn't even an event that we get to really see in The Sims 3, you know? You don't get to go inside and see it. Oh, thank you for child support. Check for $1,000. Then how come we only got 500 Who did we only get 500 for? I'm not impressed by that at all. Okay. Look at Charlotte. Charlotte went back to sleep. She was like, oh, hell no. She was like, I checked the mail. I'm done. <laughs> oh, she's hungry. Damn it. Well, hurry up and eat. And then go do homework. I'm so sick of y'all. And that's him eating. Um, You know, there was food in the fridge. You didn't have to do all that. Wake up, kids. Wake up. She can stay asleep because she ain't got nothing to do. She has an A. I don't even know why I set it up for her. <laughs> well, if you want to eat, hurry up and eat it. You take it too long. Eat. He's like, mm -mm, ain't that good. I don't care if it is good or not. Do your schoolwork. Finish eating quickly. You don't worry about a plate. Put it on the ground. We got we got a bone Hilda that we will take out the closet as soon as you get out of here because you were scaredy cat and don't know how to deal with bone Hilda. Who else? Okay, I'm just making sure everybody doing their stuff. She's the only one with the A. Why are you laughing? Because you leaving soon? That would make me smile. And y'all was still saying get a pet, get a pet, but... Um... I'll try and show you... That for some reason... This... Particular game file... Don't want me to have a pet. Oh... Oh, now I can adopt a pet. Oh, you know why? I got more room in my house. Before, it would not let me do it. You guys all know, adopt a pet from shelter would not come up. So we're finally going to go adopt a pet. Because, guys, I was going to go steal the neighbor's dog or something. Like, I'm serious. I was going to find someone else's pet and just steal it. This is much nicer. <laughs> Let's bring another um mouth to feed into this house. Because... You know, that's always a good thing. Um, I want a dog. Baby mama family, they got um, a cat. Even though her brothers got dogs. But Raffinay got a cat. See, now this is the problem. Why are all the dogs ugly? Hawk is cute. Hawk is cute. Yeah, he's a little dog. He's a mutt. He's a small dog. He's free. This one's also a mutt. He's free. All the dogs are mutt. Is that why they're at the shelter? That's sad. Oh, this one's noisy. I don't like noisy dogs. That's a big dog. It's a regular size dog. I guess we'll get this one, but I don't like his name. We'll, we'll rename it. We gotta rename this dog. Um, I don't know why. I just want to name him Billy. <laughs> I really want to name this dog Billy. Oh, was it a boy dog? I don't even know. Being cleaned up and checked out um, to be come home to you. Okay. I should have looked because I'm not even sure that was a boy dog. I think it was a boy dog, though. Charlotte went back to sleep. She don't care. Um, let's start preparing ourselves for this mutt. Uh, I already know it's going to be a hell of a mess having a dog inside a house. But if it makes people happy, I will I will have the dog. Um, it's going to have to sleep outside, though. Mm-mm. Because I don't play that. There we go. Uh, well, yeah, that's for dogs, too. And then put a ball. Uh, put a little box of toys. Because I want it to, like, I want to beat it into the dog's head. Like, you stay outside. No one loves you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also feel like I don't need all of this room in the baby room no more because we barely have babies that stay with us no more. We age them up as soon as we can. How y'all doing, kids? Bees? 
This one got an A. Thank you. You can stop now. B. B. Okay, well, y'all keep going. How about you, honey? Yeah, honey? Mm -mm. Get it. Get it together, honey. Get it together. They don't have school for two days, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, my God. Billy peed on the lady llama. He did. Oh, my gosh. He peed right on her. You see this? The puddle is spreading beneath her feet. He peed on her. Look at her. She's, like, wiping it off her foot, too. She's like, your dog just peed on me. Well, that's what you get for looking like a furry animal. A dog. He probably thought you was a mate and wanted to claim you, bitch. Get off my front porch. You don't belong. Go away.